Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome to a brand new series of Factorio. This time round, we are going to be doing Angels and Bobs. We are going to be combining two sets of mods, and we're also going to be adding in a few extra mods as well. The whole idea of this series is that uh, I will try to run through all of the Bob's Angel stuff and we will cover as much of it as we possibly can, um, or at least as much as I understand, and I will ultimately aim to build 1,000 of absolutely everything in the game using all of these mods. So it is the Bat Challenge, the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. Now what I'm going to do for the next 10 minutes or so is I'm going to talk about the mods that I will be using in this series, uh, what they are, and I'm also then going to go into the settings in here and I'm going to look at the mod settings as well. I'm just going to show you what they are. If you don't want that, if you do, if you want to skip all of that nonsense and you're not interested, the reason I'm doing this now is so that other people who want to follow along can come back and they can have a look at my settings. If you want to skip all this nonsense, um, I will. It should be telling you on the screen about now what time to skip forward to. So it's probably 10, 15 minutes, I would guess. Uh, where you can see me just quickly creating the map and we will actually get started. So there you are. I'm skipping out all this nonsense for anybody that is not interested. If you are interested, then what you need to do first is you need to get these add-ons installed. I don't have every single Angel's add-on or Bob's Angel uh, Bob's add-on either. There are a couple of extra. I've got a crawler train in here for, uh, for Angel's. Um, if you click on Install... Allow it to load all the mods on here. But then if we go to search in here and I search uh, angels like that and we scroll down. You've got a couple of extra little... Though those are just decorations there. I'm going to leave those out. Space exploration angels compatibility. This mod is meant to increase compatibility between space exploration and angels mods. Yeah, I'm not doing space exploration, so that one doesn't matter. Um, extended angels, that's Adam Cirillo. Anything really, what we're looking for is by Arc 666 Angel. That's the dude who made all of this stuff. Now, he's got some new stuff here that he is working on. That's a different type of crawler right there. I'm not going to worry about that one now. I may end up doing something with it. A little bit later on, we'll have to see. Angel's Exploration is in beta. I haven't done any of that one either. I haven't got that one added in yet either. I do have ore silos, pressure tanks, the warehouses. Um, it's the smelting train and the petrochem train that I also don't have installed at the moment. I'll probably add these in later and we will then have them. You've got Angel's Industries main lab. Now, that's not by Archangel himself, so I'm not going to use it. The same with that one. I'm not going to use it. And there's a few other bits and pieces as well. This is the ones I got at the moment. I've got the Angel's add-ons. He's got those as some extra bits. So I've got the crawler train. I've got the ore silos, the pressure tanks. The ore silos and the pressure tanks are actually new ones. I've not used these before. The warehouses I have used a lot. They are absolutely fantastic. They are invaluable they really are they are amazing the crawler train i did have it but i never actually used it um so i don't not 100 percent sure what that one does uh but the ore silos and the pressure tanks they're anything like the warehouses they are going to be invaluable in the earlier game bioprocessing this is the stuff that i will be starting with i'm not going to explain it all now we'll go through it angels industries um not used that one very much either. There was a few bits from that one that I used. You've got the Angel's Locale Translations for JAR and Revised Edition. This is basically just some translation stuff. I don't know if I even need that one in there because there's another translations one that I don't have. Um, Angel's Petrochemical Processing. Angel's Refining. Angel's Smelting and Angel's Smelting Patch. Makes Angel's Smelting Recipes the best way by disabling direct ore smelting in furnaces. This is one that isn't actually Angel's own one. This is by uh, Florian1024. Forces you to go on the advanced metallurgy path. You need Angel's Smelting to do it. Right, now basic... Uh, angel smelting allows you to smelt ore directly this doesn't let you do that and i kind of like this one this is how I've, I've done a bit of a, a playthrough myself and i do kind of like that one 
Um, I haven't got the used aim, uh, used coolant clarify ability at the moment, and um, it's not by Angels anyway, but that's not been updated, that's why I've disabled it. Uh, then we move on to the Bob's stuff, we've got Bob's adjustable inserters, some of bobbing about items, it's all, anything by bobbing about is what we're looking for now. Um, there is some of his stuff that I don't have in here, i got most of it though. And one thing with angels is they do have infinite ores. I don't have infinite ores because I don't like infinite anything. And you'll see that in a minute. Uh, Bob's assembling machines, electronics mod, enemies mod, functions library. You need that one. Greenhouse mod, logistics, basic uh, belt reskins. Basically just making the belts look a little bit different. They've reskinned the basic belts. Um... It just makes them look a little bit more colourful. This is not by Bob, though. That's purely for aesthetics. You don't need that one at all. Logistics mod. Then we've got metals, chemicals, and intermediates. You've got the mining. You've got modules, ores, personal equipment. Bob's power mod. Revamp. Right in there. Uh, technology. Vehicle equipment. Warfare mod. Uh, that's about it, I think. That's, that's most of the stuff at the moment. Um, you can use Bob's mods on your own. You can just have those if you want. Angels is designed specifically as a function to go alongside Bob's. He's designed the entire thing to work with Bob's. You can't just have Angels, as far as I know. It may have changed a little bit, but as far as I know, you can't just have that. You, um, you're supposed to have Bob's and Angels, or just Bob's. Excuse me. Right. Circuit processing uh, is not by Bob. It's a mod for Bob's mods. It reintroduces green to red to blue circuit progression. New circuits result in overall increased resource usage. Reduces module count and types. So I've been using that from day one. I didn't actually realize it was a separate one. Um, so this does change things around a little bit. But I was going to keep that one in there anyway because I, I do like it. It reduces module count. And type. So I'm not sure if this is a good thing or not. I don't really understand 100% which ones those change. Module count. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that. But anyway, I know that it is good. Now this one, FNI, or FNI, whichever you want to say. This is invaluable. You will not be able to play Bob's Angels without this if you've never played it before. Trust me on this. There is another version. It's basically a full encyclopedia that tells you everything that goes with everything. Um, and it is absolutely amazing. It's genuinely, genuinely incredible. And it tells you all the different recipes and recipe combinations. And I use it heavily. You will see this feature a lot in this playthrough. KS Power is another one. This adds in a range of different power options. We've got some extra bits. Diesel Generators is that top one up there. Then you've also got some um, wind turbines and direct burners and a few things like that. But the Diesel Generators I found to be one of the most beautiful ones out of all of it. Uh, they are absolutely wonderful. Um, anyway, KS Power is one that I've added in. Then we've got Landfill Painting. This allows you to paint landfill to different colours. Um, it Basically, the landfill will work differently. You... Because you can paint landfill over existing landfill. You no longer sort of... It, it, it changes it around a bit and it gives you different options. So you can build more desert. You can build more grass. You don't just have to have the basic landfill stuff. I like this one. I think this one's quite cool. Uh, Squeak Crew. We used that one in the last one. Steinos. Steinios. Unlasting oil. Oil patches vanish if depleted. Also supports angels, bobs, uh, uh, mad clowns and pies, gases and liquids. Wonderful, wonderful thing because it means that oil and natural gas and things like that that we will encounter in the game do actually get used up. I despise eternal sources of anything, including oil, which is why I don't have Angel's Infinite Ores enabled. I don't like infinite sources of ores or anything like that. Uh, visual Signals is the one where we tracked the number of robots that we had flying. That one I'm actually going to disable and I'm not going to use. Um, well, I suppose I don't need to change it at the moment. We'll, we'll just leave it like that for now because otherwise when I leave here I've got to 
uh, change things around. Right, so that's that's the mods that we're using. That, that's the mods that we're going to use there. Next, we want to go into settings. We're going to go to mod settings. And this is all the settings for the mods that we've got here. Most of it I haven't changed. I've not changed anything at all. We've got the crawler train there. Amount of tiers. So you can add in extras. Okay, that's pretty cool. Some of, the, some of the stuff that you can do, enable icon scaling on the warehouses, on silos, things like that. Industry overhaul, auto-enabled when Bob's mods are present. Uh, components, auto-enables the overhaul. Technology overhaul. Mineable result update when enabled. Buildings will return their ingredients on pickup. Disabling this will return the building itself like in vanilla. Um, mineable result update. I'm sure if I've been using that one or not. I'm, I'm not really sure, but um, that's auto enabled because we got Bob's there. Um, components mode enables electronics and construction components. Buildings become more complex to produce. We're going to go with that. We will make things more complex to produce. Uh, enables a technology. I don't know what the tech overhaul is. I don't know. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to take it. We're going to go for it. We're going to make things more difficult, more complicated. That's what we're going to do. Enable auto barreling. I don't have any auto barreling. Disable void recipe hiding. Nope. Um, marathon. I'm not going to worry about the marathon thing. This is the resources that we start with. I don't need to change that. Angels smelting patch. Nope. Uh, start with researches for directly smelting. No, I'm not going to do that. Allow an expensive and inefficient early game steel recipe is one that I do, I, I have had. I haven't really changed anything else. Looking down through these, a lot of this stuff hasn't been. Uh, factory ingredient limits enables a classic issue of needing better machines to craft items with more ingredients. I won't have that. That's a, that's a Bob's thing there. Uh, Bob's enemies, right, Bo bigger enemies sooner, we won't take that, but what I have got is, we will take the, what does the health increase do, increases the health of some enemies, we've got small alien artifacts, coloured, enable alien artifacts, bigger enemies sooner, I will go for that one, enable the super spawner, the super spawner could appear on a map which is tougher and spawns the harder enemies more often, yes, we will take that one. Bigger enemies sooner. The revised spawn table will be used where bigger enemies spawn at lower evolution factors. Yeah, why not? Let's go for this. I want the enemies to be tough because a big part of Bobs and Angels can be the enemies. It's, like, it's a lot different to base game and it's actually quite interesting. I think it's going to be fun. Um, transport belt turning us on will overhaul adding new tier balance the uh, speeds and complete recipe rewrites which we've got. Belt speed overhaul. Both this and transport belt overhaul are set to true. The speed of transport belts will be updated. Please use multiples of 1.875. Belt distance per tier. Transport belt speed per tier. Uh, I'm going to leave the overhaul thing. Belt require previous tier. Transport belts from related entities require the previous tier to craft. Yes, that's good. Disable roboports. No. Standard dirt rover for causing you to be reliant on the modular ones. Uh, drainless inserters. Idle power drain will remove from all inserters. No, we won't do that. Okay, the rest of this stuff, there is a huge, huge amount of different things that we've got in here. Uh, cheaper steel. Steel will cost two iron plates instead of five or four in expensive mode. We'll remove that one. We want to have a, a bit of a challenge. Steel will have a more complex recipe and more prerequisites. Nuclear fuel or enable override. All ores added my ores mod required for normal operation of this mod. We force enabled, ignoring that ore setting in the Bob Ores section. Okay, well, we will leave that. Mining mod, large areas, new pump jacks. Uh, no god modules. We've got green modules. Green merge, merged module will be enabled. Productivity limitations. Modules that affect productivity can only be used on registered intermediates. The game will delete any modules that do not match the limits. Hmm. Well, that does. 
Productivity merged module will be enabled. Raw productivity modules, raw speed. Speed merged module will be enabled. Okay, we'll, we'll leave this. I haven't changed it. I haven't changed any of these other settings. None of these I've, I've actually changed. Then you've got these. En enable cobalt ore, gems, ores, uh, uh, gem ores. And I'm, I'm not going to enable any of those. We will. Those sort of will turn up with things a little bit later. And we've got power, revamp. There's nothing else that I want through. Right, squeak through. Compatibility mode. Specifics. It specifies if modded entities can opt into or out. Must opt out of squeak through. If you use force, all modded entities will be affected regardless of their setting. This has a potential to break fluid networks and cause other weird problems. Um, we're going to opt out of that. We're, we're not going to use that. Now, space extension. SpaceX research cost multiplier. Space extension. Basically, it adds a whole load of stuff to do right at the very end of the game. Mania... Megalomania times 25. Now, it, it adds in a massive amount of stuff that you've got to do to start with. So, no Bob's. Bob's mods compatibility will not be used in this playthrough. Right, well, I want compatibility, so we will leave that in. The space extension, it basically adds in a whole load of stuff to do right in the very end of the game, which I want to do, I want to have. So, we will keep that. And then we've got the unlasting oil down here as well. Um... But, yeah, there's a huge amount of extra stuff that you've got to do to get the space extension mod to work. So, we will leave it like that. We're not going to change anything else. I've gone through all the mods, and uh, it's actually taken a little bit longer than I thought because of the settings on them. But now we are actually going to create a new game. We're going to go into free play. We're not going to do introduction. We're not going to do any of these other game scenarios or anything like that. And this is what you start off with. Now, with the Bob's Angel stuff, you've got Sapphirite, Jivalite, Styrotite, Crotinium, Rubite, Bobmonium, there's Fissures, Gas Wells, Coal, and Crude Oil. You use all of this stuff. Uh, if we just go to the preview right now, that is the map that it's giving us here, and then you can start to change things around. Now, I had a seed that I thought was actually pretty good. And I wrote it down here somewhere. Of course I did, which means I probably lost it. I think it was this one. I have reason to believe that it was this one right here. So frequency, I'm going to leave the frequency exactly set on that. So there is the seed number 259-800-2739. You can just pop that seed in if this is what you want to do. Uh, if you would like to follow along. Then size and richness of every single module, uh, every single module, every single resource, I put all the way up like this. Size of the patches goes up. We have much, much bigger patches turning up. There you go. See all these resources spawning in. There is going to be loads of them. Richness of these patches is also going to increase massively as well what i'm not doing is increasing the frequency all right the frequency will stay exactly as it is then i go to terrain over here and this time round i'm gonna leave the cliffs moisture types trees everything is gonna stay as standard i'm not gonna change it around last time round with our fmr challenge i removed all the trees i'm not doing that this time uh, advanced in here, we're not going to do any of this. Uh, recipes, they are going on normal this time because it's my first time doing a instructional sort of thing with Bob's Angels. We can always do this different next time. We can always go for something more expensive, but for now we will go for normal. Technology is also going to be normal, standard. Price multipliers are standard. Research queue, so all of that is, is going to stay exactly the same. Uh, then we're going to go to enemies. We want enemy bases. We're going to put the frequency up ever so slightly. 150%, I think. I want lots of enemies. It's going to be... The idea of this is going to be difficult to expand. Uh, size of enemy... You can put them up to 600% if you want. And they go like that. Like proper stupid. Uh, we won't go that high. But I think 200% bases... 
That looks pretty good because they, they are going to expand as well. We've got enemy expansion is on. We've got minimum group sizes can go like this. Maximum group size is 20. Uh, enemy expansion party modified by current evolution levels. Minimum cooldown is 4 minutes. Maximum is 60 minutes. Time factor right there for destroy factor, 200 pollution factor. We could increase those so that they become more aggressive more quickly. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to just leave it as is. Then we go to terrain. Right, we've got map type. We can go for a normal map type. We can go for an island. I don't, I don't want to do that. And... Now, have I got everything that I wanted to do? We've got cliffs, moisture, terrain, resources, enemy, enemy bases, peaceful mode. Starting area size. That's the bit that I want. That one I always put up to absolute maximum. It pushes the enemies way back out of the way just to start off with, which I think is a good thing. Because the other thing that I also want to do anyway is... I want to go into the terrain, and we start scaling the water. So I'm going to go with 150% coverage for water like that. And I'm going to scale the water there. If I scale water up like that, that increases the number of things. We want. To, that's what we want to do. We want to go that way. Right, 25% scales down like that. Scale it down to 17%, it does this. Coverage is 150. If I go to 100 like that, we got lots of individual little lakes everywhere. If I go the other way like that, we have lots of little islands everywhere. Now, that's an interesting way of doing this. So then if we go and we bring this up to 75%, this is a lot more interesting. This is what I want. I want large islands. In order to be able to expand, we're going to need to go beyond this. Now, 75%, we have actually got enemies on. This is our starting island here. I don't want anything on our starting island. So, that's going to have to drop back to 50% right there. We've got no connections on here. There's no connections around here. There's actually, we're able to get onto that island and that island there without being worried about enemies. Which is going to be beneficial to us. And we've also got that island and that island over there, which is also going to be beneficial. Anything beyond that, we've got lots of enemies that we're going to have to deal with. And dealing with the enemies is difficult. We've got plenty of resources to get started. And then we'll be able to take the fight to the enemy. And this is how I like to play. I don't like constant waves incoming when I'm trying to get established. I like to be able to get established... And then deal with the waves afterwards. Now, the one thing with the Bobs and Angels is that you do actually need to explore. See these little green dots? We've got some there. We've got a few up on here. And there's some over there, like there. We've got one here. And there's one all the way over there. Those green dots are special types of trees and special types of gardens that you need to get in order to be able to advance some aspects of the game and we got to be able to go and find them we got to be able to hunt these down and we got to be able to find them which means that we got to walk on these islands which means that we got to fight these enemies off and that's where it gets interesting and it gets difficult so we do have to explore we do we are forced to explore and expand beyond what we want to do to start with so that's the islands that we've got there is our settings Water is on 50%. Coverage is at 600. I haven't touched the rest of those. Uh, enemy in here. My starting area size is set to maximum. Enemy base is at 150. Size 200. I haven't changed any of these. But those are the numbers there. You can pause and you can take a look. Resources are set like that. I haven't touched frequency, size, richness. All maxed out. Uh, cliffs in here. We've got cliffs. Now, I've never really used cliffs before because I've always found them to be a bit of a nuisance. And I'm wondering whether I should use cliffs at all this time. I just find them to be a pain. Like, they're, they're just time-consuming. You know what? We're going we're gonna to try turning them off. We won't run cliffs this time. We'll, leave the cl we'll, we'll have cliffs turned off for this. So, there we go. There is our starting set. I've gone through everything. That's now we've got the map right there and for those of you who decided to skip all the map creation and the mod creation and the mod settings and everything uh, that would have been the entire last episode 
And we are now ready to actually get started. Let's go. Play. Close. Uh, this is Factorio V Play. Your task is to launch a rocket into space. You will need to research advanced technologies in order to unlock the rocket. Start small, work your way up. Look at this. I've got 60 and 60. See? We start off, we've got some Rubite right there. We've got some Sapphirite here, and we've got some Bobmonium over here. Then over there you can see that blue. That is um, Styrotite. Over there, we've got quite a lot of... We've got three patches of stereotype that I can see. And if we zoom out a little bit, we've got water up over there. We've got a nice patch of coal close by, which is absolutely invaluable. There, we've got some gas wells, which is a good start. We don't have that I remember seeing oil. We don't have any of that anywhere nearby. Um, this is a good start. This, this is a good way to start off. Now... Have a look in here, just first of all. Ooh. Well, this, this is new. What's that? Mechanical components. Wait, what's... Exploration data core, green science analog. What's that from? Angels Industries. Oh. Okay, I've not seen that before. That's brand new for me. I've, I've, ge I've genuine, I've never seen this. Gray Science Analyzer, basic data core. This is Angels Industries. I, I've, I've, gen I've never seen that before. I didn't even know that was a thing. So FNI, FNI up here. This is, this is, this is a, a wonderful, wonderful thing. This is. We've got favorites, last recipes in there, um, but it, it's this bit right here. Okay, default search, FNI search in there. If I click on that one right there, I can then, before we go into there, before we complicate things, let me press E. This is our interface here. This is some of the, this is what we can do at the moment. This, this is what we've got right now. Look, look at all this stuff. Yeah. Gems, don't worry about those. We will, we will get to those later. Bob's logistics in here. We, we've got a few pipes and, and bits like that. We've got some inserters. Basic transport belts, they're really, really slow. Um, a little bit of this. We've got a few items in here. You only have one of these, take good care of it. If you do lose it, kill yourself and you'll get a new one. Tech archive. Right, so we've got to be very careful with the Angels Industries bit over there. Production, we've got the burner generator. This is from the KS Power. These are absolutely amazing. They produce power without water. You just plonk them down and you put stuff in. I will very often put a combination of one of those and a burner mining drill right next to each other. Or uh, you can have a steam-powered mining drill if you really want to. Electric mining drills, you've got the offshore pumps, uh, stone furnaces. But yeah, burner mining drill and a burner generator, one behind the other, just... Uh, one working into the other, and that generates power for your base early on. It's a really good method of getting some power up and running. Um, resource refining, we'll get into that. Uh, metallurgy and stuff, petrochem, bioprocessing. Um, there's the bioprocessing of animals. That Yeah, okay. Um, Grey boards. Some of this stuff is new to me because there's been updates. He's done a load of updates, and also we've got Angel's Industry, which I've not seen. I haven't sort of come across before. I haven't done Angel's Industry before, as you've seen with my general confusion with these bits. The basic data, the data cores. Gray Science Analyzer, Data Analyzer, Basic Data Core, Basic Lab. That's all new stuff that the Angel's Industries... I don't recall using this before. Well, I, no, I haven't because I, ha I had science packs. I've got, I had a different playthrough and I was using science packs. It was science packs all the way through. So this whole data core thing, this, this, this is new. I, I actually really like it. This, this looks really awesome. Um, it, well, I think it's a recent update of his, though, actually, now that I think about it. So you've got enhancement data core there. What's this? Vehicle equipment? No. There. Red science analog. One of those times here, what do we get? We get a red science analyzer. It takes a red circuit, a gray science analyzer, one data analyzer, and you craft those in together to make this new bad boy. Just 
have a look a minute at the amount of research that we've got to do. Are you getting an idea of what we've led ourselves in for here? Yeah? We do actually have some of this is science packs. We've, we've still got gold science packs in here. We've still got some science packs. And then we've also got the tech stuff. Like this. This is ludicrous. Times uh, 15, uh, times 512 for those, for the, for the advanced bit right in there. Uh, this is fast and light propulsion systems. This is for the space extension. That needs two of those and one of those 2,000 times. That needs 2,000. That needs 1,000. Right, the, the space extension stuff does require quite a lot. And then we've got, that's another space extension. There's 128 of these. So as you can see, we do require a very large number of everything throughout. And it's 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 insane. It's, it's basically just ludicrous. Okay, that we, we've got all of this lot here that we've, we've got to work our way up through that takes a, a long time to go and, and build anything. And yeah, this could be interesting. So we'll start off with the basics. Before we get bogged down in all of those extra details, let's start off with some very, very basic bits. We don't want to worry about any of that. None of that needs to concern us. What you do to start with is you've got a burner mining drill, you've got a stone furnace, you've got a burner ore crusher, and you've got the tech archive. I will hold on to that one for a minute, and I'm not going to do anything with it. A little bit of iron plate. The bits that we want are the stone furnace, the burner mining drill, the burner ore crusher. So start off with this one. And that one right there, I'm going to bring that one over and I'm going to drop that one right there on the outside edge of this. There's 4,700. I'm on sapphirite right here. Sapphirite will give us iron. And stereotype over here will end up giving us some copper. If we go and have a look in here, this tells us the different things that we can do and that we might want to do. So rails, craft or usage. How do I make rails? One stone, one iron rod, one steel plate gives me two rails. And I can make it in any of these items right here. And that's it. We've got one recipe for it. Uh, so I can go back on here and I can have a look in this way. Uh, let's go, for example, into production. And I want to make... You know what? I'm, I'm trying to... Want lab 2. Modules lab. No, wait, no. What's uh, lab, lab 2? What's... Alien Lab Lab 2. Why do we want the lab? Usage. Doesn't say. Craft. 10 electronics block. 1 basic lab. 4 express transport belts. And 4 express filter belts. If I want to find out how to make the basic lab there. That tells me that. That puts me through all of those items right there. 1 basic lab there. The simple one. 9 electronics blocks. Those take 3 grey circuit boards and a construction frame. To make that one, I need an iron grate and one girder. To make an iron grate, I need two iron rods. To make an iron rod, I need two iron plates. To make an iron plate, I need three crushed sapphirite. Makes two iron plates in a furnace. Or I can have 40 molten iron. Or I can have one iron sheet coil. Okay, are you starting to get an idea? Like, how do I make molten iron? I can do that with 12 iron ingots. I can have 12 iron ingots and 12 manganese ingots, ingots to make 240. Uh, silicon and iron, iron, cobalt and nickel, right? It's, it starts to get absolutely ridiculous. It gets insane. This, that's all stuff to worry about later on. Right now, we want that one. I just want that one to work. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little bit of timber and I'm going to drop that in there. It's able to do something. I don't know why I wanted to do that. I've, I've wasted my bit of timber now. I've got some more over here, and I've got coal over there. We'll, we'll go this way, and we will harvest a little bit of timber. So we can chop down just a few bits of wood here, and we'll then be able to use them for our machine. Right, I, I'm, I'm not going to waste time looking through all of the bits anymore because I've, I've already spent a lot of time looking at all of the different things with the mod and um, like the dizzying array of stuff it, it's confusing 
There is it's genuinely confusing the amount of stuff that we've got in this mod and the amount of stuff that is available that you, you sort of got to kind of get your head round a bit is it, it's dizzying. It, it is genuinely dizzying and, and we don't want to do that too much. So next we want to we'll go into here and I will take half of that and I will drop that in there. Uh, it's not doing anything else. I've got some timber right there. So we'll go to resource, metallurgy. I've got to find the right bit now. Because I'm forever looking for the right one. And it doesn't help that I've got the Angels Industries, which is new stuff, which I don't remember. Angels Logistics, that's what we want. It's also been moved around and there's been some significant updates, like Bob's Logistics down. What you can do is you can move these, I think you can move these squares around. I think. Maybe not. I thought you could. Right, well, never mind. Um, that, that bit doesn't matter. I want to go to Angel's Industries over here. We've got a wooden chest or we've got an iron chest for eight. There, I'm going to take a wooden chest here. A very, very simple wooden chest. I'm going to drop that wooden chest right there so the sapphire ore goes straight into that wooden chest. That's what I want it to do. Next, you don't just take a smelter and put the stuff into the smelter. Oh, no. That would be much too easy. No, what you need to do is you need to take a burner. Yeah, uh, burner, you need an ore crusher. Ore crushing is the next step. We've got to go into there and... Let's just pick that one up again, shall we? We will... I'll put you on there. Oh! I picked up the ore crusher. It breaks it down into individual components. I forgot about that bit. Right remake the ore crusher we gotta um, i might change that back well no no i won't i like that because i pick so much stuff up and drop it down i'm constantly doing this throughout uh, i think this is probably a good move so we will put this one down and i'm, I'm just gonna remove that one and say i'm gonna put that on there like that and then what I'm thinking is i'm gonna pick up that one so the chest will stay as it is it's only the machines that do this and I'm going to take the ore crusher and I'm going to drop that one there so it's direct insertion from you. And then we've got to select a recipe. We want to crush sapphire ore in here. So we've got stuff coming in. I will drop the timber in there and that is going to crush this one. It's going to keep going until every time it gets two sapphire ore, it then crushes it and it gets four uh, sapphire, uh, crushed sapphire. And it gets a piece of crushed stone as well. Now, these do take a little while to build up. So from there... Actually, I don't want to do anything from there, do I? I want to go here like this. Then I want to create in here. We've got a standard inserter. I want a burner inserter in there. I'll take that burner inserter and I will drop that one onto there like that. And you will turn over like this. I want to press that, uh, press Alt there so that I can see what I'm doing over here. And that's now moving the crushed sapphire over into here. And then we start doing this. Now, this is highly inefficient, right? It's really, really inefficient doing this. It takes three sapphire to make two iron plates. And that's what you've got to do. So it's, it's quite the extended piece out here. Now, these are brilliant. This is the inserter configuration G uh, GUI, so I can move the inserters around where they pick up, where they drop stuff off, things like that. That is absolutely wonderful, and it works really, really well. It does amazing, amazing, wonderful things. We don't need to worry about it at the moment, but that does extend out absolutely hugely and massively and makes a big, big difference to everything that we'll be doing later on. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of coal like that so that I can run that one as well. And then we'll be able to run both of these. Let's take that coal and drop it right in there. Okay, that is going to keep going now and it's going to keep dropping that in so that we get some iron plate. And we've got a very, very basic setup. But what I don't have is somewhere to put the sapphire. Uh, not the sapphire, sorry. Somewhere to put the stone. So I drop that one down there. I want to make another one of these. I can make one there very quickly. I'm going to bring you around. I'm going to drop you in there like that. 
Uh, I need to go and get some more ore. Uh, more ore. I need some more coal. So we're going to get that. Now, the next thing that I will do is I'll make a coal loop so that I can start picking a bit of this up. There's a nice easy way to do that as well. I'm going to take six of these. There. And we come back over here. We will be glad of this. We will be very, very glad of this little loop that I would like to make. So I'm going to drop three of those in there. So they start taking out the stone. So you've got crushed stone being taken out. And you've got the sapphire ore right there. That is being taken and being put into there. And then this one is producing me some iron plates. Okay. Do you see how simple and easy this job is? It's like you, you could not ask for easier, could you? <laughs> so, like, it, it, that's, that's, just, that's just the basics. That's just for iron right there. And that's a very, very simple one that we've had to manually feed a bit of stuff in. And this extra stuff that we've got, like this, this a lot of this is new. A lot of this is new icons and extra things that have been added in. There is a lot of stuff here that I'm not familiar with. In particular, I do... Actually, I remember now. I remember seeing an update um, from Angels, which is something that he wanted to do all along. He didn't want the science packs. He's changed it to data cores. So we got data cores all the way through. This is a new thing that he's only just added. So this is as new to me as it is to anybody else. We need to be able to make those data cores, but we're not going to worry about them at the moment. What we want to do at the moment is we've got petrochem refining, re resource refining right there. That makes more burner crushes. Then metallurgy, we've got metallurgy casting. Can we move these things around? I don't think I can. Angel's technology, angel's power. Now, this is the boiler, the steam engine, and the burner electric generator right there. This, this is the those ones. But then there's the other one, which was in here. This is the KS power one. So that's, that's kind of the extra ones. We've got a wind turbine right there, if we can get some copper going. But those aren't the bits that I'm after. I would like burner mining drill. To be able to make that burner mining drill, I'm going to need another stone furnace. I'm also going to need three mechanical parts and three construction frames. To be able to make the stone furnace, I need two construction blocks. I thought I needed stone to make a stone furnace. Okay, construction blocks. We need to go and find construction blocks. Where are those? Uh, that would be under Angel's Technology. No. Bob's. Angel's Blocks. That's what we want. Construction blocks. Ah, okay, this is pretty cool. Fluid block there, construction frame and two iron pipes. Mechanical block is mechanical parts and construction frame. Electronics block there, and then we've got the construction block. That takes three pieces of stone. In order to make stone there, we need to take crushed stone. And we need to actually turn it into stone. This is the only source of stone. You have to take the crushed stone out of these. Now, you in here, unfortunately, I cannot change that over so that it only takes out the, the one item. So I will drop those in round. I'll change them over like that. We're just going to have to sort of do it like this. Um, this one's going to keep moving the wrong ore out of here. I don't have a filter. I can't put a filter on it. So I'm just, I'm just going to leave that one there for a minute. And we will also pick up that stone. So I've got the stone on me. So I can craft some myself. One, two, three, four. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's just craft all of it. Turn all of that into stone that I can. I'll put one more on there like that. Make another one. There, I got 28 pieces of stone. That means I can then go and make the angels power. No, technology. Angels blocks. That's what we want. I can just go straight into here. Production right there. I've now got stone furnaces. And I want four stone furnaces. Like this. Okay, this is insane. Right. Construction blocks. Iron grates and girders. We, we need the girders that... The, this is, oh, this is wonderful to get back into this. This is absolutely wonderful. The complexity that is involved. Now, you might think that that's nothing because it's making it all for me at the moment. Um, but it's not nothing because when we want to actually start automating it, you got to bring all of those individual, like, 
to make a stone furnace was a few pieces of stone. That's all you need was a few bits of stone. I don't think there's anything else involved with making a stone furnace in the base game. I can't remember now. Uh, to make it in this one, you've got to get all of those individual components together in factories so that you can put them together. Yeah? There is a whole level of complexity in there that it, it sort of boggles the mind. Now, if you have a look in here, this tells you everything that becomes available. We've got the SpaceX stuff in here, the space extension stuff. Bob's materials, intermediates, various resources. This is all different crushed things that we can get. Metallurgy. Yeah, pay attention to that because I'll be testing you on it. And then we've got all of that lot. We've got water treatment here. There's fairly basic petrochemical refining in there. Uh, fluid barreling in here. There's um, barrels and there's gas canisters and there's fuel cans. And <laughs> there's, there is all sorts of stuff in there. And, and you've got all of that lot. Like the, this, this, get an idea of this. Like you, you see what we're up against. <laughs> this is just... I love it. I absolutely love it. And then we go over here into the fluids, right? This, this is the, the fluids section down here. See all that? That's insane, right? This, this is molten nickel. There. How do I craft molten nickel? I've, I've only got the one. You make that with nickel ingots, yeah? Molten nickel is made from nickel ingots. There. To make those, carbon monoxide and nickel ore or nickel cathodes, or nickel carbonyl, and nickel ingots. Yeah, complexity. Complexity upon complexity upon more complexities that go way beyond anything that you have ever previously imagined was even possible. Burner mining drills right here. I want four of these. Look at all of this stuff that I've got to put together in order just to throw together a couple of these. Right? Ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous. You have got... I can put a little bit of coal in there. And I can go into here. I don't need any more of that, but I do want to take the crushed sapphire and I'll drop that in there so that I can keep that one running. I'll take those 22 plates right there so that I can make another burner mining drill like that. And then I can run this one along here. And I want to go into the middle over here. So we've got a few thousand of these. And I'll take the burner mining drill and I'll drop that down into there like that. And I can drop the first one in there. I can drop the second one in there. And we want to just basically form them into a loop on here. Like this. And I'm just waiting for that last one there to be made. As soon as that one is in, we drop that one down in there like that. And then you seed this with one piece of coal. You don't need any more than one single solitary piece of coal in there like that. That starts up. That is now removing coal, and that is putting coal into this one, which then puts coal into this one, which then puts coal into this one over here. Starts that one up, which in turn comes back over here before this one has finished. So now what we're doing is we're loading up all of the actual fuel bits in here, and properly loading them all up. And then it's starting to go back through them, and it's going to do the same on there. That one's up to six already on there. And it's just going to keep going between them so that we can generate a huge amount of coal in there. I could make a few of these. I Generally, I will start off making several of them. And then we can run them manually back over to this system over this side and keep those bits. We're going to get another section going up there for copper in a minute. And then we can... That's, that's just the basics. I've left that running for just a little bit so that I've got a bit of coal in here that we can grab. So I just... Press control and... Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirp... Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.